here's a weird thing. I actually struggled to find a title for this particular video. Blue Beetle is number one bomb. Didn't really make sense. I mean, Blue Beetle bombing following Shazam 2 path also didn't make sense. So ultimately I came up with this idea that Blue Beetle soars to number one, but stumbles with a $25 million box office debut. Still doesn't sound right. I guess it just indicates that a new dawn is breaking at the box office with Blue Beetle showing up and trying to snatch away the number one crown from Barbie and Oppenheimer. And for the moment, it kind of seems like that's the case. And again, the numbers aren't final yet. We probably won't get real numbers until Tuesday. But as of right now, this is a very hollow, bittersweet victory for Blue Beetle. As superhero films go, the earnings have fallen well below the pre-release expectations, although not the very early projections. And it's landing at about $25 million in just under 4,000 theaters. 3,871 to be precise. Now, anticipation had painted a more lucrative picture here, projecting that Blue Beetle would kick off with 28 to $32 million across the nation's theaters. But, you know, unless a miraculous surge emerges, those predictions are going to remain very unfulfilled. The film's inaugural day earnings totaled $10 million, which took care of the $3.3 million haul from the Thursday previews. And again, I saw this film early enough to be part of that $10 million crowd, and I can see why it's not jumping up and down. See, this hiccup, or whatever you want to call it, might have been forgivable if the film had been embraced by an audience and had potentially was able to rally by word of mouth. But that's also not going to be the situation here, and we'll get why in just a moment. But Blue Beetle has gotten some decent scores from Rotten Tomatoes with the critics giving it a 76%, audience is giving it 92%, but cinema score here is giving you a B plus, and that lines up with Shazam! Fury of the Gods. So post-track ratings offer a better outlook at four out of five uh, among general viewers and a perfect five for five among families, which makes sense because the film is really family heavy. And that, that, that's a good thing right? Well, maybe not, because it doesn't seem to be drawing families anymore. And what's strange is it's scoring better than Shazam, but it's just kind of pacing like it. I don't know how else to describe this. It's very strange. Notably, Latino moviegoers comprised an over-indexed 40% of the opening day audience. There's no surprise there. Yet, even as this demographic blows up, the broader appeal remains crucial. It had an exploded production budget because originally this was going to be a television movie. So it made up to at least 104 million prior to all the marketing expenses and everything else. I've heard higher at 110, but it's essentially not bringing in a lot of other demographic numbers here. Now it had some competition, not much, in Universal's uh, comedy Strays. And that actually is doing way, way worse. It got a meager 8.5 million from 3,200 theaters. That's terrible. And that's well short of initial estimates. I, I don't even know where this is, this is. It's kind of a very bad miscalculation for a comedy that costs $46 million. And then of course, all the marketing and stuff that goes into it. So it's R rated, so it was gonna kind of fall off, you know, with a lot of the audience because it doesn't have the broader appeal of like the teen audience of a PG-13 or something. And it did okay score-wise. I mean, well, I don't know. It, Rod Tomatoes didn't like it, but other scores elsewhere did. So 54% on Rotten Tomatoes doesn't really mean a lot because some of the best movies of the years have been well below 50% on Rotten Tomatoes. So I don't know what to tell you. But the audience reactions for the film, and these are where, you know, I tend to focus, is cinema score of B+. So it's actually going to be falling behind Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, which is complete garbage and is failing itself but that's like an eight to $9 million number in its third weekend. It's earned so far about $88.5 million domestically. This thing is still gonna lose money. So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is gonna lose money. Strays is gonna lose money. Blue Beetle is going to lose money. So Warner Brothers and Universal have a lot to deal with. They've got really bad releases lately and their solace is gonna have to be derived from the triumphs of Barbie and Oppenheimer. I think Barbie's gonna make the year for Barbie and Oppenheimer, well, 
you know that's doing pretty well too they've also done really well with their legs barbie and oppenheimer have legs and again i couldn't have been more wrong about barbie i thought at least some ladies would recognize that it's really rough on guys but hey an estimated 566 million domestic for barbie is fantastic uh, and it actually dethroned uh, The Dark Knight, which was Warner Brothers' most successful domestic release ever. Of course, that's not accounting for inflation, which would put Dark Knight ahead of it, but it, that, that's neither here nor there. So will Barbie pass Super Mario Brothers? I guess that's the next question. Maybe. It's quite possible. Uh, the film's global number is about 1.2 billion. It hit earlier this week. So is it going to fall off anytime soon? Who knows? It's got to make another $100 million globally, plus... We'll see. But on the other side of that spectrum again is Oppenheimer, which is about $700 million in global box office. So it's no slouch. And that puts it way past the, you know, adrenaline driven Fast X. And that film was just kind of eh. And look, they knew for sure that this was going to be somewhat successful. I mean, it's a Nolan picture. They didn't really see it as making this much money. Um, they kind of benchmarked it against Dunkirk, and that's kind of where they figured it would end up, about 520, 550 global. But uh, hey, it's doing much better than that. It's mainly because of the IMAX earnings, I would, I would think. But again, the story of the weekend is Blue Beetle and its terrible performance to get to potentially a number one. I don't even know if it's going to stay there. Who knows? At this point, if the real numbers come in late Monday today or late or early Tuesday, I guess, where is this going to be? I still think even at twenty five million dollars, this is an incredible disappointment. And I haven't heard a lot of word of mouth. that's going to change people's minds. So I think Blue Beetle's just going to end up a flop, unfortunately. Anyway, what do you think? Do you think that I'm overstating things and that Blue Beetle isn't a bomb? It's not a flop. It's going to be massively profitable exceed expectations after this opening weekend do you think that um this film will get a sequel wow and do you think that this is going to be incorporated into the new dc going forward i really don't see how this is one gun's got to wash his hands of just like he's going to have to take a major shower after the aquaman film because that's going to bomb man a rough year rough year for everybody at the cinema Anyway, let me know your comments down below what you think, because I, I, I'm genuinely interested. And with that, be sure to take care of yourself and others. And of course, hit the like, share. You know, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. All the things. Do the things. Have a great day, everybody. See ya!